Well, hello then, I do hope you're all well. Look at Stare, this fucking idiot. Can you believe this is the leader of our country? It looks like he's just woke up from a skip, just fell out of it, walked into the nearest hospital. You're going to have a pint of bubble deer and a packet of pork scratches. Huzzah! Oh, it looks fucking ridiculous. Good God. Well, anyway, on Friday, you know... <laughs> After his uh, stinging attack of uh, the blackmailing and uh, all the what's been going on with Nick on the Nick Abbott show, um, his uh, absence didn't go notice, and he had a little uh, conversation about uh, where our bodge was hiding. Enjoy. Uh, fun fact about that whole uh, Sue Gray investigation: she's not even investigating his bodgeness or any minister. That's not part of her remit. They made absolutely, totally, and, and um, completely sure about that. Civil servants may get it in the neck, and that's it. If you were expecting anything more than that, then you're about to be disappointed. Oh, no. Prepare for a disappointment. So Budger was on a visit to Taunton uh, for no good reason other than it was far away and he got to wear a mask in a hospital to make us all forget about the times that he refused to wear a mask in a hospital. Oh, and to get his picture taken with NHS workers. You know, as a bonus to them in lieu of a pay rise. Step, step right up and get your photo taken with his imperial bodgeness. And, um, you know, he got to point at bits of medical equipment and look thoughtful. Excellent use of your time, Bodge. And uh, asked about the allegations that his regime is as dirty as the Cosa Nostra, he says, I'm going to make you an offer you can't refuse. Absolutely. He said, I've seen no evidence, heard no evidence to support any of these allegations. He said he would, of course, look for evidence to support the claims, but Number 10 suggested there were no plans to launch such an investigation. So he's looking for evidence, which will amount to him scanning the desk in front of him and searching through his pockets in his jacket, and if nothing comes up, that's it, case closed, move along. Or it's curtains for that new hospital in your area. I mean, I had an idea that this is how uh, politics worked in this country, but uh, it's not been confirmed up until this point. Unless you, um, you know, take yes minister as the truth, which in uh, quite a lot of uh, circumstances, yes, I do. The Times reported that one Tory MP said they were told by a whip, you're done when voting against the government last year. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but people vote for their MP uh, because they like the cut of their MP's jib. I mean, I know that actually people vote for the Prime Minister that they um, that they want to do the job. They, they vote for their party rather than their local MP. They probably couldn't name if you, um, you, know, if, if you set their life on it. But that's the idea. You vote for your MP because, uh, you know, you want that person to represent you. You don't vote for your MP because you want that person to just say whatever the dear leader of the day has told them to say. Because what's the point? The Times reported that one Tory MP said they were told by a whip, you are done when voting against the government last year. I mean, this doesn't seem to be a government in the way that we would recognise it. It seems to be more like an organised crime syndicate. I mean, we've had the smash and grab raid of billions of pounds siphoned off to places unknown. Friends and relations of the regime have got so spectacularly rich that if they were Russian, the police would be launching an unexplained wealth investigation. And now they're in the keep silent or we'll nail your head to the floor stage. Conservative MP William Wragg, one of a handful of Tory backbenchers, to have said publicly that they have submitted a letter to the chairman of the Backbench 1922 Committee, Sir Graham Brady. Pah! No confidence in Mr Johnson's leadership. He said the uh, conduct of Government Whip's uh, office, uh, threatening to withdraw public funding from MPs' constituencies, may have breached the ministerial code. May have. <laughs> may have. Seriously, what good is the ministerial code apart from being used as a wedge to keep the door open while they wheel in another suitcase of drinks. Booze. Christian Wakeford, the MP who defected from the Tories to Labour in protest at Johnson's leadership and the row over the Downing Street parties, said he was threatened about the loss of a school in his constituency if he did not toe the line. Wow. 
the Metropolitan Police said they would consider any complaints made to officers. A spokesman for the Met Police said, As with any such allegations, should a criminal offence be reported to the Met, it will be considered before being lost because the dog ate it or it got left at a bus stop. Either way, off you go, sunshine, or it's the clink for you. Uh, they didn't say that, but would you be remotely surprised if they did? What a way to run a country, eh? Dreadful. And I must admit, I'm in total agreement with Nick when it came to the Sue Gray investigation. And um, yes, it's just going to be an absolute whitewash, and uh, and there'll be people thrown under the bus to save our bodge, and uh, if they don't go willingly, they'll just be thrown under. <laughs> because that's what he's done all his life, just to save his own sorry ass, aren't they? And when he talks about uh, uh, they're not feeding hungry children and uh, for not voting for it, then you are so done. It just shows you what an absolute, absolute shit show of a government we have. Jesus Christ. <sighs> you never thought that uh, they would stoop that low, but quite clearly they don't care. And totally agree about the investigation with um, the Metropolitan Police. They'll just uh, turn a blind eye because uh, they're, 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 he's got them in, in. He's got them in his pocket anyway. And Cressida Dick, she's for whatever reason, <laughs> she's one of these where she thinks, um, well, we don't we don't investigate crimes in the past. We prefer to investigate crimes that haven't happened yet. <laughs> but anyway. I shall leave the video here and um, until the next time I shall bid you farewell and take care.